Welcome back to Women's Footy for NAB. We are here at the McCafe. Try a deluxe iced coffee at McCafe today. Thank you, Nadia. This is delicious. I'm going to have a little sip here. You take the screen. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, we have a Melbourne superstar with us, Lily Mithen. Welcome, Lily. Thanks, Ronnie. Good morning, Liz. Hey, Lil. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, good. I'm, uh, I'm desperate for a coffee. I'm, I'm jealous that you're having your sit there, Brani. It's of a delicious. McCafe delight. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. It's a McCafe. Did we mention that? <laughs> Absolutely delightful, delicious almond latte there. Thank you, Nadia. Hey, Lily, um, a massive game for you yesterday. Um, incredible 28 disposals. And with that, can I tell you that you are our Snapple AFL MVP nomination for round eight. Congratulations. You can cast your vote at the aflpa.com.au. Let's have a look at some of these highlights here. Lily Miffin. Did it feel like it was a huge game, mate? Uh, yeah, it was. Um, I love playing against North Melbourne. And I think we always match up against them really well. Um, we played a few Friday, uh, Saturday nights against them out at Casey Fields, and it's really good fun playing uh, under lights. So um, obviously the result was exhilarating. Sort of left uh, the last quarter for it to be a bit of a heart racer, really, and, and really had to defend and make sure we could uh, make sure we kept the result and took home the four points, but. Um, no, it was, a, it was a really great night and I thought the girls put in a great performance across all four quarters and, um, yeah, I'm just loving playing with the girls at the moment. Liv's, Liv's making the ground super secure at back, so it's uh, <laughs> nice just to be able to play in the midfield knowing that you've got uh, great support behind you. Lil, just looking at your highlights there, it's, it's very clean football that you're playing. You, you've been through the wing, the midfield and up forward at times this year. What have you really brought uh, to the Ds this year? What have you tried to bring during pre-season and, and to the start to this season? Yes, um, I think that I've been a midfielder sort of all my life. So um, to be able to play midfield, I'm a, I'm a contested player. But I think the biggest thing that um, has elevated my game in more recent times is my skill execution. I think that um, my kick's gotten a lot better, especially over the this preseason, and, and I consider myself a really good kick that sets up a whole lot of our offense. So I think that combined with yeah, obviously I've played a long time, so I like to think I know the game pretty well, and I'm a very competitive person, as you'd know, Liz, and <laughs> don't like to get beaten and like being around the footy. So I guess that will and want to compete as uh, as well as that sort of cool mind in high pressure situations and to be able to use the footy to create offensive scoring chains is uh, something that I think I've added uh, to my game this year. And um, hopefully uh, the likes of Taylor and Days and Cato up forward are, are sort of reaping the benefits. They definitely are. Yeah, I think, they, I think <laughs> they are, mate. Absolutely. OK, well, that was our vote for the AFL PA MVP of the week. Thanks to snapple.com.au. So, Lily, you've had a, a great game yesterday as well, but I want to talk about um, Paxi as well because she is having an absolutely ripper season. She's just everywhere. She looks fierce. She's strong at the ball and she's just setting up a lot of, uh, a lot of great play as well. Definitely, yeah. Couldn't have said it better. Pax is a running machine. She's the heart and spirit of, of this side. And, um, yeah, her game yesterday was phenomenal. The way she attacked the footy, her contest game was brilliant. But then just to keep fronting up at stoppage and, and do the right things in the right moment, I think, was crucial with Pax's game yesterday. She knew when to create a bit of flair and uh, really get offence going. And then she also just steadied the ship and took the ball forward or locked the ball up in the contest. So Paxi's game was brilliant and um, it was uh, it was nice. I'm not sure how much you've spoken about Indigenous Round already this morning, but um, KP, Crystal Petrensky, uh, one of the girls in our side, she got a family member back home at Halls Creek, uh, far north uh, WA, to do a painting that represented um, seven strong... Indigenous sisters. It's a Dreamtime story back, back in their sort of native land, and um, did a painting that represented that, and and it was awarded to the best of ground player, which will now be a tradition going forward. And now Indigenous Round and Paxi won that award, which I think was a very deserving winner of a really special award, thanks to uh, 
KP and I guess uh, the Indigenous round. It's such a special round to celebrate culture and um, I guess also to learn and educate ourselves about what Indigenous round means because there's obviously still a long way to go. Yeah, very well said, Lil. It was a really special moment for the club and for KP and, and for PAX as well. What do you think, obviously we've improved as a team over the last couple of weeks, but where do you think the, the most amount of improvement will come? We're obviously not done yet. We weren't satisfied with the win last night. We want to keep going, keep pushing for, for more. Where do you think, where do you see us improve over the next couple of weeks? I think, um, I think our start was a really positive step forward this week. We haven't started the game super well, so... I think that was something that we um, we need to continue to work on. Um, but it was really pleasing to see us fix that uh, last night. But I think the improvement comes just the, that level of consistency. There's obviously going to be ebbs and flows in games and momentum shifts, but we need to be probably quicker at when another team sort of got the ascendancy on us just to really pull that back as soon as, what, as, soon as possibly can. And uh, I think... Last night, our defenders, uh, you leading the charge, really saved us in a lot of critical moments. Um, but it needs to start sort of further up the ground. And um, I think us as mid sometimes getting beaten around the ball a bit too often, um, which is going to happen, of course, because we're playing against great oppositions and great sides. And, and there's going to be times next week against Freo when um, the likes of Bells and, and her guys are going to uh, take the lead on us about how quickly we can bring that back and how quickly we can win the forward and, and come back to our style of play I think is where our improvement comes. And Lily um, if I can just touch on Taylor for a second she's been a massive signing for you guys and she just looks uh, so dangerous up forward and just really strengthens that forward line for you guys. How good is she? It's, <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. Brian you're there on, on, on match days out at Casey and I'm sure you just get as excited as what I do watching her. Yeah, it's amazing. Whether you're, whether you're working, whether you're um, playing with her, whether you're supporting, she's just such a talent. And there's just not many players in the league or if any player that competes in the air yeah. like she does. It's um, And then her ability to convert that goal there that you're just watching, the way that she swung that in the wind. She's having a phenomenal season and um, I just love playing with her. And no, it's... It is flashy what she's doing, but she's not making it flashy. She's just making it sort of stock standard Taylor behaviour where she cra crashes a pack, whether she marks it, whether she takes it to the ground. She's playing her role brilliantly and uh, the the impact she's had on the group has been immense and, um, yeah, another really strong forward from her last night. And, uh, yeah, she's coming into great form at the back end of the year, which is uh, ideal for us. Absolutely. Um, Lily, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, up after the break, we're going to have a Geelong captain, Meg McDonald. Stick around.